Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today I'm out in the greenhouse and I'm giving my onions a haircut. What I would do is, and these are just under uh, three weeks or just under four weeks old, but they start getting pretty long and some of them are considerably longer than this. But uh, what I do is I take these uh, onions and I cut them down so they look like those and what that does is and and a lot of people say well I don't do that and that's fine if that's not what you want to do that's fine but the reason why I do that is what it does is make this onion uh, sturdier it's kind of like cutting grass uh, if if you want your grass to grow good you cut it on a regular basis if you want it to just kind of some smother out the other and not go and I don't know if it secretes a chemical when it's cut or what the deal is but they always seem to grow uh, bigger faster and I'm hoping to get these in the ground uh, at six to eight weeks uh, like I say we're almost to four weeks so uh, if, if we uh, three more days we'll be at four weeks but anyway, if we give them a haircut, chances are going to grow faster. This year I changed the way that I grew these because I was growing in a bigger tray. Now when you go to uh, trim these up, if you grow in a smaller cell tray, you could do this in a 72 cell tray or something. All you got to do is tilt it over and uh, trim that off and, and uh, some of these get get mighty mighty long even in that short of time but all you need is a pair of kitchen scissors uh, they'll work just fine And I just, I cut them about an inch and a half, two inches uh, long, and then uh, that way, that way, uh, they'll, they'll take and start growing back. Now some, some will keep, they'll keep going back and trimming and trimming and trimming. Now I don't normally do that, I just most of the time I just trim them once that's that's sufficient to get a good growth and get these nice and uh, nice big plants for uh, putting out setting out in your garden but that's all it is I mean it's it's simple as that to to trim them don't worry about cutting your plants because this this really does uh, cause them to to uh, jump up and go and we'll we'll come back to this in a week or two for those of you that haven't uh, grown onions from seed before and you do use the trim method now I want you to know that you can uh, eat this uh, these leaves off of there now if you do them a second cut they're they're better but as far as these what's left of the seeds definitely won't hurt you now I have a little perlite in mine and I'm not I hadn't planned to to uh, eat these but I have in the past and they they're really good as far as uh, if you're gonna make a sandwich and, and use this in place of onion it's really great flavor these onions here and I have two types I have a uh, Spanish white onion and then these are bunching onions and you can tell the difference pretty easily but these were both uh, started at about uh, nine and a half weeks ago almost ten, ten weeks ago so two and a half months and you can see that and these hadn't been taken care of they hadn't been no more fertilized than what's in this compost but uh, 
I did I did come by occasionally in water, but the, uh, they they get pretty much everything they need from the the drip system here, except the fact that they could have used some some fertilizer. Now, if you're going to grow your onions fast, you want them big. Uh, I recommend an organic. Uh, get you some fish emotion. Uh, now you can buy it like at your big box stores, Walmart or something. And you're going to end up giving about probably $45 for a gallon. Which a gallon makes a whole lot, but $45 is a lot too. Now I know some of the commercial places, like we've got one here local that, that I uh, buy from. And of course you got to buy it for a four gallon case but i can buy it for about what it cost me for half as much at walmart so so uh you might consider that but if you're going to grow big onions you want big onions they like a lot of nitrogen uh you you want to uh fertilize them uh, regularly every couple weeks uh if you have a drip system which you can inject it into the line but you you want to feed them a lot of nitrogen. Uh, every once in a while you can give them some uh, 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 balanced fertilizer, but regularly something like fish emulsion is really good. Uh, but I do recommend that if you use that on your onions, make sure that once you uh, put it on, go ahead and rinse your leaves. Now they say it's organic, it shouldn't burn them. But I have had it want to burn a lot of plants, so so just be aware of that. If if you're gonna put some on, then rinse rinse it where your leaves aren't gonna have any on it. Okay, it's November fourth. We finally got these onions that were uh, in the, sitting in the ground, the ones we planted back in August. We finally got these out in the garden. These. At the beginning of the row, these are the uh, white bunching onions. And then we transition to the uh, Spanish whites. And there wasn't a whole lot, but it, these were just some that was early and I wanted to get some bunching onions. We didn't bother with planting the little bitty ones. But anyway, these are planted really close here because uh, what we'll do is we'll harvest these as, as green onions. We might leave a few to go ahead and bunch up, but uh, most of them we'll pull with green onions. And these others, were, the plans are to get them to uh, bulb in size, but we might eat some of them for green onions too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, of course, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you'll be notified. And as always, happy gardening.